a música mais escutada na China? Eu gostaria de saber quais são essas formas de pagamento novas que a China está trazendo. Então, eu quando estive ali me di conta de que, por uma parte, tinham poquitos dulces e, por outra, que eram pouco dulces, os próprios dulces. Então, minha pergunta é: por quê? Não sei se há algum motivo e saber por quê. Is everyone using WeChat? My name is Marissa, and today I'm joining CGTN's Ask China Expats. As an American who's lived in China for six years now, I want to answer the question, does everyone use WeChat in China? My simple answer to the question is yes. Everyone uses WeChat in China. WeChat is the main social media platform in China. People use it to connect via instant message, voice and video calls, as well as post about their daily life. But over the years, it's evolved into something so much more than just a social media platform. It's become an all-in-one application that you can't live without if you live in China. Some of the things that you can do on WeChat other than social connections are, number one, it's a digital wallet. You can connect your bank to WeChat to transfer money or pay for literally anything without any additional costs. On top of that, you can also pay your gas bill, electric bill, phone bill, and any digital subscription all in one place. In the US, sometimes we have to hire specific companies to help us manage our bills or subscriptions. So what I like about WeChat is that I can do everything on my own and easily check and control what I'm paying for without any extra cost. Second, WeChat is also your public transportation pass all over China. You can just open the public transportation tab, scan the QR code on the bus or subway, and it automatically will take the fare out of your digital wallet. I think this is great because, for example, when I travel to Europe, every city has a different pass or a different system, and it can be a bit confusing. But I think that WeChat has really solved this problem. A lot of restaurants in the city are also now connected to WeChat. So you can scan a QR code that's on your table to make your order and pay for your meal. That's a lot faster and more efficient than having to wait for the waiter. Plus, you can take as long as you like to order what you want. Another special thing about WeChat is that it's used as a business communication tool. You can transfer files, send important documents, connect with clients or customer service, make business deals and appointments, and so on. At first, it felt really informal to talk business with your clients or your boss on a social media messenger platform, but after six years of doing this, I think I've really gotten used to it by now. Plus, it has its own benefits. For example, it makes communication instant. You don't have to wait so long to get a reply back. And this, in turn, just makes business go a lot faster. And lastly, WeChat is also used by Chinese natives to collect or pay for their social benefits, so things like their social security or their health insurance. But since I'm not a native, I can't really speak much into that. Overall, I think that WeChat is just a super all-in-one application that offers social connection, digital wallets, entertainment, and so much more. And if you plan on visiting China in the future, it's a must-have.